Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. We're playing Darkest Dungeons, and I'm figuring things out very slowly. We're going to head into the ruins with my now-configured party. Yeah. And hope we have a good time. How do I go into the ruins? The oh, provision yeah. first. Yeah. you gotta, you got to buy a couple things. Never mind. Psych, we're not going to the dungeon yet. It'll tell you what you got to buy. Um, uh, you're going to buy <clears throat> a couple torches and food, and that's pretty much good. You can just right-click on them, I think, because you want to buy, like, four of those. Right-click does not click, work. Sorry. Okay. Four of those and... Food. Food. Like six or eight food. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Nothing else? Really? Uh, maybe a shovel. Skeleton key? <laughs> and then embark. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. The less you take provisions, the more money you're saving up to upgrade and to fix your heroes. Yeah, sure. Fair enough. All right. The fiends must be driven back. Oh, I like the map, So this though. is the start of the game proper. Uh, to move on, you have to click on the squares on the bottom grid. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, so this is definitely a, like, even though the gameplay is, like, you know, oh. point and click kind of thing, there is a lot going on. Do I have a way to search for traps? Uh, the, some of your, your characters have spot trap trances, but they'll automatically be triggered. Uh, sure. Let's open this. Ooh, stack nice. loot. Some more crests. All right. The neat thing about the the sarcophagi, the iron maidens, the, the great, uh, the, uh, you have to click on the door. I tried that. It didn't go at first. I wasn't close enough, I guess. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's weird. Um, it's a non-standard way of controlling a game, so it kind of just sure. all feels a little wonky until you figure it out. Mm -hmm. Like that. Like, why did I go to that room? I'm sure it's because it's randomly... Oh, and then back to this one. <laughs> I'm sure it's because it was randomly generated, but it just felt oh, like... Oh, and real quick, learning everything. Click on uh, bottom right under your little map. Smap? Right-click on a torch, and that'll increase your light. The more light you have, the less stressed your characters get over time. All right. And also, it prevents ambushes from enemies and stuff. Uh, wow. Did I just synthesize gold? <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> How nice come work. we can't just stay here and do that forever? I mean, you can't Forget just make the... gold from nothing, Nick. <laughs> what? I synthesized it from something. <laughs> and, but what I was making a point right before uh, we, we got confused on doors. Uh -huh. um, Whoa. If you have a character who is oh. obsessed with like corpses, they'll dig into a grave without you asking without asking for your permission, basically. What? Yeah, so like if you're walking by a corpse and you don't want to click on it because your character's oh, stressed I out. I should have learned what my character's like. Or I guess I should have gone it's through cool. all of their... The, the grave shot is going to be your best bet right here. All right. Oh, uh, AOE. Okay. Yep. Nice. All right. Yeah, um, that's pretty sweet. Generally, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. that sucks. Brutal. Uh, that guy should be on stun duty, ideally, to yeah. keep somebody locked down. Just stun the first guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. Go on. You were saying? Um. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Something about graves and. Oh blood. yeah. <laughs> Just like if your characters get obsessed with certain things from gaining quirks over time, they'll do things without your permission. Um, which is a really neat element. They start to take on kind of lives of their own. Ooh, two stuns. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I like that idea. I want to see that play out. It can get very bad, though. When your characters get too stressed, they might get masochistic, and they'll refuse being healed by your cleric. Um, or your paladin might what? become like chat, like might start chastising himself and doing damage to himself before he does damage to an enemy. Chastising? Like flagellation? Flagellating, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, so, there's uh, a lot can of Can you stop her from... The dog is... is Wanting to play, and she's being noisy. Sorry, everybody. Let's grape shot again. Oh, a little, a little and I love the narrator. There. I Confidence wish I could hear it better. You know, like yeah, that's the one man. downside of playing these games this way. I think I've said that before on the show, but oh, I just it definitely. Uh -oh. Um. Oh yeah, let's do that. That stunned last time, so maybe it'll work again. I think that also increases your yeah. increases your torch light a little bit. Interesting. Um, so it's at a two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is just great. Honestly, the Seeker Vessel is one of the best characters to Which have around. Which is just great. Um, Battlefield Medicine. Should I heal up some? I don't think that heals. It cures no, all poisons. Bleeding stuff. and conditions. Okay. So, but ow. And honestly, unfortunately, I think the Witch Doctor is kind of a poopy head. What? I always get rid of him. I love him. I know, because he looks so cool. <laughs> I love that mask. It's a plague doctor, by the way. Plague doctor. You'll you'll get the plague mask concept eventually, Joe. No. <laughs> no, I refuse. I don't like to understand things, Nick. That's not how I operate. <laughs> that's I would kind prefer of true, unfortunately. So, party heal one to two. Should I do yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's a good one to do, especially towards the end of a battle where you're okay. kind of controlling them down. 
Can they not heal outside of combat? Not much. Food will like heal them like one pit up one at a time, but you need ho food to keep them from starving. Well, that's so. stupid. <laughs> oh. Oh, I never reset the timer. Oh no! This Maybe is, we just do the this dungeon. Is too much to understand. <laughs> That's done for sure. Yeah, I was looking yeah. for it again. I lost it. It's it's hard to keep track of all these abilities. Right. So the white bar underneath your health bar is your stress meter. When that gets to 100, their meta will be tested, the and they'll either like become con more confident or they'll more likely freak out and gain a quirk, a negative quirk. Um, this is the most game commentary we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> like, There's a lot of game to talk about here, which honestly, I kind of, so I don't know specific. why, filling in, I thought it would be just kind of like, you know, clicking around. Yeah, I didn't think it would actually be as involved. It's not but, super casual, that's for sure. Yeah, I kind of forgot how, like, I, I mean, I got so used to, I guess once you get used to the basic, there's not too much more to the gameplay. Yeah. It doesn't evolve much more than this. Um, as victories mount, so other than the fact that the dungeons have some more encounters that we haven't quite experienced yet. Yeah. It's just such a weird change in dynamic for us, for, for you to be the one. Oh, what? Oh, Expounding, those are the things yeah. that were in the room, or what? You got, so you, you critical succeeded, I believe, on resisting the trap, and it gave you a scout as a result. Um, so you got to see that you're coming up on a battle here, um, uh -oh. and that there's treasures oh, following Oh, I didn't understand that at all. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the game telling me nothing. <laughs> like It's just like, here's some icons. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I like that sometimes, where you get to yeah. just learn stuff. It, it reminds I me do. of old games. I do. Um, I, I kind of like games not holding my hand. That's I, how I, I, I feel. I think it's become a problem with modern games. Yeah. It's we, just, I guess we probably talked talk about that before. We have. But. We have, yeah. But it's just like, while I do agree with that overall... It was really confusing in the moment. <laughs> like, sure. I think startling you with new information that it doesn't explain is um, potentially kind of like the same thing, but not, you know, like... Maybe. I don't know. This game's I'm, I'm, a lot about being startled, though, and being terrified in general. Oh, uh, I'm not terrified. I'm just confused right now. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, yeah, keep trying keep to, stuns. Yeah, stun lock them for half the party. It'd be nice. Um, I love the art, though, man. I know I said that before, but, like, uh, even it's that. Like, so I was just getting good, ready to point yeah. out the chalice before I even knew they would throw stuff on me mm -hmm. from it. <laughs> and that attack is so brutal because it does very little damage, but it does a ton of stress damage. Um, um, so that, like, Witch Doctor is now past the other guys where he wasn't before in terms uh, of stress. You keep calling it a Witch Doctor. That, um, that, uh, summoner. I don't know what you're talking about. Neither do I. I just... <laughs> Losing it. You're you've my stress is uh, at like 100. I'm Don Quixote, you have lost it. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you're nice and up. <laughs> I I don't know what's going on anymore. Hey, so what's your plan here? What's your strategy? Uh, talk me through your strategy. Stun them and hit them, and stun them and hit them, and stun them and hit them. It's a solid strategy. When possible, use the area of effect. But <laughs> you know, it's not always possible. Apparently, the the plague doctor gets to a point where. He's not terribly useful. And that's the yeah. thing. Like you can up, you can buy some more abilities for him that make him a little bit more uh, uh, utilitarian. But healing again. I'll yeah, I I mean I agree. I can see how you would say that it's a problem because it's oh. definitely not that effective. And it, it actually sometimes he comes out a little bit better than you got him. Yeah. Because every time you recruit a hero from the caravan, they come with four of seven abilities, but they're random. So you might get a really good set of abilities on the offset, and you might not even have to buy more oh, abilities for it. Cat, now I'm getting attacked by Stormy, who's yeah. rubbing on my microphone box. <laughs> you rub on my microphone box. Stormy. No, no. I think oh he's... <laughs> Just get her out of here. I can't, no. <laughs> oh, God. So hard to do a YouTube show in this professional studio full of cats. <laughs> oh, wait. It's not a professional studio at all. When we have a professional studio, we uh, call it Can I just studio. pass turn? Yeah, that works. But it's oh! Oh! <laughs> when, they're, when they're idle, it freaks them out. I thought... You would think that, like... I mean, it makes sense. But you would think passing would never be a negative because you're losing a turn already, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. That should take care of that guy. I said that after he was already dead. <laughs> like, that should take care of him. <laughs> Nudge with my boot a little bit and make sure he's still dead. That slicing of his head off, that that should have done the trick. Nice. Get those yeah. heirlooms. Heirlooms all over the place. They're everywhere. Heirloomy wear. Oh, no. Oh, that was good, actually. You got warrants to Christian. All right, let's... 
I think we're this dungeon's going to be too long for one episode. You're actually almost done, I think. Well, there's extra rooms. There's a room up there, and then there's two more rooms this way. Well, let's see. I mean, we haven't gone. We've only been gone for like five minutes. Uh, I think we've been going longer. And that, than that room's empty right there, so the only potentially only one more room has a fight in it. Okay, so should I go this way and just try to finish it out? Uh, yeah, let's see. Because I think it's only okay. explored ninety percent, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's skirmish. So you're gonna have to go through. I don't know what you're saying. Eat the food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. eat nothing. <laughs> Save our eight rations and do nothing with them. The torch. Uh, okay. So it's a sconce. You can take that torch from the sconce there, yeah. Salvaged. You might actually hit up, hit up on the light. Oh, well, too late for that. I've got a spell that fixes that. Whoa! Whoa God! God. So, basically, anytime she takes damage now, she will have a random chance of just dying permanently. Oh, nice. That's kind of, I like that as a feature, though, like hitting a death point, but then you can still keep fighting, so you don't... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like that conceptually um is she still at death door or that not anymore now she's at one so when she drops a death door again then she'll be out of threat range again basically nice i'm into that that's a very cool mechanic that would actually go well in like a tabletop game but sure yeah i mean it's, it's <clears throat> it would be a you know, fun chancy but that's what tabletops are often about yeah well i mean plus like if you're getting down to zero hit points regardless and you're gonna die anyhow you know like yeah you might as well get a little bit of extra. Well, I love building like play. barbarians with die hard. So even when you're like supposed to be unconscious, yeah. you're still fighting. Well, that's, that's one good. specific game though. That's specifically. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. But it was. But I mean, you know, the idea of a character do? that would normally be down and just keep on going. I've always liked that. Yeah. No, I, like I do too. The, the tough characters. I do too, for sure. Keep healing. Oh yeah! Drop the mad heels. Mad heels. We can sing some Taylor Swift. Um, does she have a song about mad heels? <laughs> She's got a song about bad blood, and it sounds kind of the same. Bad <laughs> blood? Yeah. You know, we haven't told any jokes. That was the worst one. It was pretty bad. I, but, I, but simultaneously, the best one we've told this whole series. Hmm, okay. I, I, <laughs> you should get on that. You should fix it by telling some more jokes this series, Joe. I don't tell, I don't like, I don't do, like tell, like, punchline jokes. Do No, just tell some funny stories. Uh, funny stories? Yeah. That's what we do. Stories. How do I? All the oh, stories that I had prepared for today were not funny. Like uh, we were, we kind of started talking about. The well, time. hold on. Figure out when this is going to air. No. What? If before you say anything, you should think about when this is going to air. I say that I that I threw books in a, or that I was accused of throwing books in soap in a fish tank. Was uh, that on? That was on this track. Okay. So that would we have didn't aired. Didn't talk about that. Did, oh, what, we didn't end up using it. That's right. right. Yeah. So you can click to the next room now oh i see that's yeah. annoying um yeah so <laughs> nick minus nick's confusion here um in seventh grade i uh i was accused by my science teacher well of some students who told my science teacher that i had thrown deodorant and soap and books stuff. into a fish tank that's so specific like killed the books. so so yeah, killed the books <laughs> killed the books well the books were probably dead too from the from soaking but the fish killed the fish is what they were more concerned yeah. about yes um this kills the books. <laughs> yeah. uh, you might want to light up, bro. You got some, some mad darkness up. going on there. That's a terrible phrase. And also, I just lit a torch like in the last room. You run out pretty fast. Well, that's silly. You select the destination. Go is backwards. this an empty room? Yeah. Uh, <gasps> uh, why did it make me go there? You gotta go backwards. You gotta go through the path. You gotta hit the hallway. I gotta go through this no, door. That's, that's the way right back to where you came from. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, it, forward. Yep. Wait. What? You're just looking at oh. it from the other side now. You're always going oh, left right. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> That's not winning any points with me. So seventh grade, you threw some books in a tank. I and did not throw the books or the soap <laughs> or the deodorant into the fish tank. You but I was, threw the books. But I was I was yeah. uh, accused of, of doing so. Yeah. And, uh, like, I they were trying to give me OSS, out of school yeah. suspension. Well, I remember, like, some kid said they saw you do it and yeah. then that kid was a liar but i wasn't even in their classroom like <laughs> i wasn't even in the period that they were in in that science class i had at the end of the day far after the fact like it happened sometime in the middle of the day at lunchtime or something like that and i didn't go to the science room until you know the end two to two to three p.m uh-huh um whoa but i remember uh my like i told mom and she told grandma and to, to resist this, like, we united the whole entire, like, group of family members. And mm -hmm. you came in, grandma came in, mom came in. Yeah. And we sat, uh, like, talking to, like, I think the principal and uh, 
and the science teacher, like just like yeah. two of them. So we were like outnumbering. Which them. is is very funny because the, the science teacher that I had in that grade and in that very room was currently your principal. Yeah. And so that's why I was brought in because I could serve as both character witness for you as my brother mm -hmm. and also could relate directly to the principal. I knew him very well. In fact, I was in, he was in a, an after school club called, uh, or, he, or he wasn't in, he ran the future problem solvers <laughs> after school club. And I was one of his members and I went on trips with him and stuff mm -hmm. to compete for that. It was actually a pretty cool like thing as far as those kinds of things go. Um, it was a lot of fun going on trips, and you got to, like, get... Basically, every week we would have to be presented with a problem, and we'd have to break it down. And the problems would be, like, very specific large world problems, like a dam has broken, and it is flooding a town, and that town has to be evacuated, but also these environmental issues are coming up as a result. Mm -hmm. So... Anyhow, the point is, when you have to, like, break down those issues in your fun time with someone, you get to get pretty close to them. So I was really close to that teacher when I was at that age, and now that he was the principal, it was uh, it was interesting going toe-to-toe -to -toe and arguing with him over your innocence. <laughs> yeah. I remember very clearly the argument where he was like, um, where, where I, I said, you know, it wasn't me, it was other kids, like, they were responsible for it, and he, was, and he said... We don't have bad kids here. And I remember so clearly you were like, oh, come on. You know that's not true. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, like that, that, that like exchange just stuck out in my mind. I can't believe you remember that. But when you said it, I remember it too. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have remembered it, I think, standalone. But with you calling it out, I totally yeah. did. I was like, come on, so really? Before you go in this door, eat the rest of your food to heal up. And I would probably click okay. on the cleric to make sure she gets the food. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. This way you can uh, give her some hit points. All right. Heal up. You might want to give some to the doctor, too. I don't know. Yeah. To you. Yeah. And then the other thing would be hit your, hit the rest of your torches since this is the last room. Well, two The last enough. one, too. Because it, it, you want to get it up to the highest okay. percentage possible. I never had to use the shovel. Uh, yeah, that only happens if you come across, like, rubble. If okay. you don't have a shovel, it, it stresses out your party and consumes health. Oh, interesting. If you do have a shovel, you can get through it. All right. Let's finish this stuff up and get out of yep. here because it's a long episode now for sure. I mean, by for sure, I mean, I really don't know, but I it feels like a long episode. I feel like it's the right containment, though, having a, a, an adventure. Ne we need to hit the target. Sure. We fair. need to, to make sure we're doing that. Um, oh, she's masochistic now. Interesting. Oh, my blood is my penance. Take it, heretic. That's her voice. That's what she sounds like. <laughs> oh, and he's afflicted. No, no, that's like the... the oh, that's what she explanation is. Explanation of what just happened, yeah. Oh, I see. Um, if you get stressed out, you can become afflicted, or you can like become resolute I see. as a result. I see. That's pretty cool. Let's stun you, hopefully. Please? Yes? No? <laughs> By yes, I mean you I, said resist. <laughs> I think, this is. I'm not 100% on this, because I kind of had to assume it, because it's not a stat that's laid out for you, but I think the likelihood of becoming resolute or becoming afflicted is actually a secret stat that is randomized on the characters you get. Oh, interesting. So a character you recruit from the ta from the carriage might just be more courageous, you just don't but you don't get know, to know. Yeah. until it happens, until their resolve is tested. Inch oh, a dodge. Oh. But what I've found is characters that manage to like deal with the stress do it yeah. over and over again. Huh. Uh, so they go, they hit 100 stress again, they'll they'll be like, okay, I can handle this. All right. Um, yeah. Start throwing some grenades here. Heck yeah, get some poison on them. Oh, I didn't know that was poisons too. That's cool. All right, hopefully that's a stun. Yeah, all right. It's feeling feeling the pressure right now. But I like, you know, Oh, you're, miss ooh, on all of brutal, them. Yeah. That's no fun. Like, oh, all your characters are so low and healthy. You know, it's just like, I feel like they got the design of this game kind of perfect. Like You're feeling on edge. You're yeah. like, it's, you're going to lose someone at any moment. Yeah, even in this first dungeon, basically. Yeah, mm. I'm done with that. Um, I sacrifice myself. Way to be, like, not seeing the big picture here. God, a dodge every time, too. So that's another really cool thing, though. The more quirks they get, whether they're good or bad, they say more things when they have quirks. That's, yeah, that's true. So uh, your characters actually Quirky kind characters of are more fun. character. Yeah, yeah, like, as you go. Really, really neat, subtle touches that are all over this game that I love. Yeah, I'm down with that. I would certainly much prefer a quirky character to a group of silent 
characters, you know? But that's so often what you get, right? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Geez. Exactly. I feel like, strangely, like some nice. games that used to have really, really great character design have kind of petered off. Like, Final Fantasy had really brilliant characters uh, in the early series, but hmm. in the last, you know, since like Final Fantasy IX, I can't name any characters that really stand out. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, no one liked Titus, and I mean, I guess <laughs> 11 you named and him. don't count. Yeah, sure, I remember <laughs> You him, specifically just said I can't games. name him. Yeah, um, but <laughs> no, but you, mean, you, can't, you can't name characters that you love, right? Like, I don't think there's a lot of standout characters from 10 or 12 or 13 that anybody really were like, man, yeah. best character. That's like the, the Vincent Valentine or the Red 13. Yeah. Um, and uh, even, even I mean, I guess, I think one of the most standout like RPG NPCs lately was Garrus Vicarian from Mass Effect. Did you play Mass Effect? Uh, I, I played Mass Effect, but not very far. I, I don't know what's wrong with me compared to everyone else in the world. <laughs> But I couldn't get into Mass Effect. Now, that said, I have it currently installed on my machine, and I plan to beat it. Mm. I plan to force myself the whole way through because... Oh, did we get anything? No, it was trapped. It was, it was empty. trapped and empty? Yeah. Who traps an empty chest? Bastards. All right. Well, on the next Instant Replay Live, more dark, oh, deep, oh. dank, Bastards. dirty... I your alliteration. Yeah. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.